Hey, my friends, Rocket here. You see that there pool? That's my pool. And I'm not in that pool, because I don't want to be a tool in the pool. <laughs> Come on. That's from the movie Hot Rod. I mean, if you didn't watch it, it's a stupid movie, but it's funny. <laughs> no, no, look. You see this? See this bag of mortar? I know some of you know how to do mortar mix, but some of you don't. And some of you, it kind of freaks you out. It's like, oh no, I gotta put, no, I'm not mortaring anything. No, I'm gonna tell you, it's real easy. And so look, I got this here bag of concrete. Don't you like how I use that slang, country slang, this here? I got this here. Okay, that's funny. No, it's not. Mortar mix. And all you do is add water. So I got a little basin here. Get that at any Lowe's, Home Depot, wherever. Independent wholesale place, building supply place. And then I, I put that bag right there. And it tells you how much to add. It tells you how much water to add. So if you'll just get it, some of you females out there are good at measurements. Because I'm not. I'm going to be a typical guy and just start adding water until I get a peanut butter, peanut butter mix. And it's going to take me a little bit because I'm mortaring in cinder blocks. And I'm in the sun, so this is going to dry this up a little bit while I mortar. So I want it on a little bit more than peanut butter mix. You know the texture of peanut I love peanut butter. Look, I got a friend, John. He does a peanut butter pie. And then he hand makes the whipped cream. It's not out of a can. He hand makes the whipped cream. I called him one day, I said, what are you doing? He said, well, I'm just finishing up the peanut butter pie. And I went, what? He says, yeah, I gotta, I gotta mix up the uh, the whipping cream. And I go, You're, you gotta mix it up. It's in a can, you just <laughs> No, no. He makes his uh, peanut butter or something. Anyway, back to peanut butter. You can do this. Now I've taken my cinder blocks and I filled them with concrete just because I want some strength in there and I want some heaviness. Because I'm doing a little, this little simple shed over my pool. I'm tired of the rain beating down my pool pump and stuff. And the noise, I'm going to shelter out. So I'm just, it's easy to do. But let me tell you this. See that little rock wall right there? I did that with mortar. And it's just, these are bell guard pavers. And typically, bell guard pavers are on the ground. And it's like, instead of concrete, you have pavers. But I took them, and I just, you just see what I did? And I took the top row, and I just scooted it. Look, I'm wearing latex gloves. You need that. If you use your hands in mortar and concrete, I'll assure you, that probably is not going to be a good thing for your hands. It dries them out awful. Now, my wife, she likes soft hands. Oh yeah, I like soft hands. I'm a landscaper, a burly landscaper, but I'm not gonna have rough, rough hands. CrossFit, you people, yeah, y'all, y'all, y'all got some rough hands, but I, I like soft hands. So you know, when you pick your nose, you don't want to cal it. No, stop, cut it out. Anyway, use some latex gloves, and of course you get sweat in there. When you do this, all the sweat comes down your forehead. It's really nasty. But look, every now and then, I took a bell guard paver and I turned it that way. I just got creative. And then some of them, like that one's down low, then this next one's up a little bit higher. And I took the whole top row and I pulled it forward just a little bit to give it a lip. Don't give me no lip. Don't give me no lip. And so, anyway, you can do this with mortar. You can take flat stone, rock, natural stone, and mortar it in. And it's, and it's okay if you make a mistake, it'll come back off easy. It's not like it's in concrete. I just had to say that. Nothing's in concrete. No, but anyway, it's easy to take back down if you make a boo-boo. It's just easy to do. Don't be all bashful. You know what I say about healing? You never know about healing until you step out and begin to lay your hands on somebody. It's your first time. You've got to do it, though. You'll never get good at that until you do that. So the same with mortar. If you'll just experiment with it, you'll see that it's really cool. And get some, look, get knee pads. I'm 51. I love my knees, but I was hard on them. And now I'm not crazy about it. You know, when you're down here like this and you get a little pebble under your kneecap, and you get on your, man, it hurts. Put your knee pads on. Knee pads are awesome. So anyway, just, you know, if you got a little project and you want to do some little stones, and look, I got this big old long level right there. And, it, and that helps you keep, you know, some, some stone walls, you, you don't have to have level. But others, you do. So get your level and just, and mortaring, it's easy. All right, I know I went on and on about this. It's, I'm just, some of you can do this and you just don't know you can do it. Now I've just made it really easy. And when you're done, Take water, rinse off your tools, because if you don't, it's going to cake up on there, and next time you use them, it's going to have caked up mortar, and it makes it hard. All right, we're at 4 minutes, 23, 24, 25. It's too long, my friends. Jesus loves you.